Zach. I, I know we agreed never to contact each other again. I am I am scared. Zach, I am so... Slow down, Callistus, okay? What happened? I think someone has been following me. Okay. What exactly happened? Someone has been trailing me every time I get back from work. Someone is parked far away from my house. I can see them through my window. Callistus, you're, you're being paranoid, okay? No! I know what I am saying. Someone is after me. I think it is zero. Down. You're overreacting, okay? Overreacting? Yes. I am telling you that Zero is back and he's after us. But, okay, there's absolutely no way Zero is back. He's in prison. He's having a lifetime sentence. And you're just here spreading fear. Calm down. Do you ever regret it? I mean, it's been nine years since then and I don't know how to forget it. Please step out of my car, Callistus. Okay. Um, I'm getting married and I want you to be my best man. I'm sorry, but I can't. Also, please don't ever call or contact me again. Okay, you're part of my past that I don't want to remember ever again. Okay. So give me your phone number. Let me send you money earlier. Yes, I don't see him. So wait him be that thing we thought he was. You get person where I define. Um, I suspect he did here with you. Now life sentence in the cell. I just wonder whether he still did here. Okay, wait him be name. Leonard Easy. Leonard Easy. So like how long? How long you need to check this thing? Give me one week. You go fit coming back then. Oh well, I'll call you back in a week. Thank you, eh? He did not. He did not propose, Lisa. Wait, what? Are you serious? He gave me another birthday necklace. Wait, what exactly is wrong with him? You've been dating him for over one year now. You do everything your wife does already. Not everything. Zach has never made love to me. He said he's waiting until our wedding night. to do anymore. Abby, you want to be a living girlfriend all your life. You're not getting any younger. Would you like to go see a movie? No. Okay. So, you don't like the food then? It's not the food. Okay. 
You didn't like the restaurant? It's not the food, not the restaurant, Zach. Yo, yeah, come on. It's our anniversary, okay? Can you please not ruin it? Huh? Please. Honey, can you tell me what exactly is going on? Babe, come on, it's our anniversary, okay? But yes, it is our anniversary, Zach. But should I remain your girlfriend for the rest of my life? You know everything about me, my family, everything. I literally live in your house. And yet all I get for our anniversary is just another dinner date and a fancy necklace. Zach, I am not getting any younger. You will not make love to me and you, and you say you will only do that when we get married and yet you will not propose? I'm beginning to think I'm some big joke to you. And I'm not the only one who feels that way. My friends and family feel the same way too. They all think I'm wasting my time. Or perhaps I am. Find what we have. Find us what? A live in girlfriend? I'm out of here tomorrow. Post. He doesn't want them posted. In fact, he wants everything to be quiet. Wait, let me understand you. Who is he hiding from? No, no, I like Zach. But are you sure he's not married? No. Come on, Lisa, that's not it. Come on. Listen, it's just about his job, okay? You know that Zach is with the secret police, and he is very particular about staying off the radar. Mm. And he's scared. Scared? Of what? Well, a while ago before I met Zach, he told me that his brother was poisoned on his wedding day. Oh. He died. My God. That is so sad. Yeah, and the most worrying thing about this entire situation is that before his mother passed away, she consulted with a powerful pastor who told her that the same person who killed Zach's older brother wants to do the same thing to him in the same way. What? Hence all the fear and secrecy. Oh my God. That's terrible. <sighs> I totally understand now. Now I feel bad for even suggesting he had a wife. It's okay. What about his father? His father is late. He died shortly after his mom passed away. And I even wanted to go to the village, but Zach refused. I agree with Zach on that one. No need to bring village people to come and destroy what you have. Hmm? I know, but I would just like to meet one member of his family, you know, an uncle or someone, you know? <laughs> it's the man you're marrying. Forget about his family. Because hmm? you're right. If you ask me, oh, I'll say you guys should take a few photos. You know, just for memory's sake, even if you don't post it. Mm. And we could even post them without his knowledge. Oh, to pepper some people. Oh. Are you are trouble, you. <laughs> you know you're trouble, right? You're so silly. Stop it. Oh, congratulations again. Thank you. Just so excited. I'm getting married finally. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Finally. Come on, babe. Listen, 
Please. There's nothing to listen to. Come on. We've Please. had a conversation before. I know. Why are we doing this again? Oh, listen, okay? Okay, listen. Listen to me. Please, okay? Just one picture. All right, for memory's sake, please, I promise not to post it. I thought you said you understood when we agreed that we're going to keep all of this private. Look, I understand, okay, but let's just do this for memories. Okay, at least to have wedding pictures in our room. Please just do this for me, please. On one condition. Okay. The pictures are for our living room, our house, our private consumption. Nothing on social media, nothing for the public. I promise not to post it. I promise. You give your word. I give you my word. Fitting though, by the way. Oh, my darling. The dress is so beautiful. <laughs> I felt like a queen in it. Oh, honestly, I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle in that dress. Oh, I hope that you're going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my mm -hmm. gosh. Mm -hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. In two weeks, I'm going to be your wife. It feels so surreal. What are you talking about? Wait, you thought I was joking when I said I was going to get married to you? Well, considering the amount of time it took for you to make up your mind. Honey, look, you're literally the best thing that has ever happened to me, okay? And I must have done something right, but God send you my way. Aww. You just know the right things to say, babe. Mm -hmm. Come here. <laughs> Come on. Look, in two weeks, I'm going to be your wife. Let me just have a taste, please. <laughs> You're going to have to be patient. Babe. Mm -hmm. With this rate of chastity, you should think about opening up a church and becoming a pastor. <laughs> no French kisses. You just give me hex and forehead kisses. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Honey, look, I just need you to know that I love you very much. Okay? I know. And I love you too. But babe, this does not make any sense at all. Back, okay, I'll call you back, I'll call you back. Hey, babe. Hey. Lisa just posted our wedding card. I thought we both agreed that we're going to keep details of our wedding away from the media. Babe, it's just the wedding card, not oh, the pictures. God. Baby, come on. Wedding card, wedding pictures. He's putting us out there too much. This is risky. But babe, do you know the kind of position this puts me in? No wedding pictures, invitations to only my family members and a few selected guests. People are starting to doubt if I am truly getting married. Babe, hey, listen, it was just the wedding card. Lisa is my best friend and she means well. The wedding card contains the address of the events, okay? The location. And people we don't know who will, will, will show up at the place. That is... makes us targets, okay? That's what I'm saying. Listen, nothing is going to happen. Security will be tight. You hired the best security hand. You don't, you don't understand. Babe, just stop! Stop it! You're beginning to make me feel paranoid. Just stop it! My God!
you're you part of my past that I don't want to remember ever again. I'll be spending the week at my parents. Wait, our wedding is a week away. You want to spend the rest of the time with your parents? Come on, babe. I'll be all yours soon, okay? Just one week with them. Oh. Don't miss me too much. Well, you know I will. Hmm. Well, do you really have to go, though? Come on, baby. Stop being a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. Yeah, I miss you, too. All right. Take care. What is it now? What is the meaning of this? You've been calling me these past few weeks and you will not say anything. Please, if it's a joke, stop it, okay? I don't find it funny and I don't like it. Hello? Calistus. Hello? 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 Our gas since one week now, and the last time we hear from her now on Monday, but he talks say he be going house, and since then we never hear from her. Okay, thank you, yeah, thank you. But a girl, who you be? No, nobody, I'll be customer. Yeah, now I just make a call check whether I see the here. You see. You know, make I, make I give you my phone number so in case anything I mean you can come or you hear from her, man. You would all let me know, yeah? But I can really try call her as well. I could try the number they call. Important. Thank you, eh? Yeah, good for uh, you see hey, nobody don't hear from her. Number not the good, nothing else, man. Okay, we're going to try to go now. Bye bye.
hear the talk. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, so, um, do, do you find him yet? Yes. Thank God. Thank God. Um, how, how is he? <laughs> Malga no day good at all. What's wrong? Wait, have, have you taken to the hospital? Is he in the hospital right now? He no day hospital. Now him dead body we find for water. He be like water washing body enter show. And he be like say my oga commit suicide though. So, so he's dead. Yes, it like Simaoga don't die. I think you would miss me that much. Babe, hey, what's going on? Um, okay, now you're getting me worried. What's the problem? Baby, I'm scared. Okay, I think we need to call off the wedding. Please just stop it. You're such a joker. What's that? Stop it. I'm being serious. <laughs> You're not joking. Zach, what's, what's going on? What's the problem? <sighs> Zach, please, I'm going to lose my memory right now. Just tell me, what is the problem? Look, I, I, I just keep getting these phone calls from this number that, you know, whenever I pick up a call, the person won't say anything. And, I just and you think that's enough reason to call off the wedding? One week to the wedding. But I just don't want anything bad to happen to just us. Just stop Eva. it! Nothing is going to happen. So do you expect me to go back inside and tell my family that the wedding has been called off simply because you're scared? Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? Do you even want to get married to me? I forced you to do this, right? This is what this is all about, right? Okay, you know what? Goodbye, sir. Hey, wait. I got you, didn't I? I got you, I got you. Oh, look at my baby, my baby is mad. Yes, you got me. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Okay, I missed you. And so I just, you know, I wanted to see you. So I decided to pull this prank, you know? I miss you too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? I love you. I love you. I love you too. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, mm -hmm. you changed the wedding venue without consulting me. And then you send me the details, and you think I'm just supposed to accept it like that? Baby, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I did. I'm sorry. I did it for our own good. It's like, look, your friend compromised the security when she released the details of our wedding plans. Okay? I, and I, I figured that if I asked you, you'd probably say no. And that's why I went ahead and did what I thought was right. Babe, you know what? Now I'm thinking you just have some kind of mental problem. What? No! Like all of this worry because someone is going to hurt you? What if all of this is just in your head? A trauma reaction to something? Okay, this has nothing to do with trauma, okay? Second, it is just a venue. Nothing changes. And you are still going to get married to me. Babe, listen, you're not just going to say it like that. Look, I am tired of explaining to my parents and my friends why you do certain things. I'm sorry! Okay, I don't know how else you want me to say this, but I... It, I will absolutely hate it for something bad to happen to us on literally the happiest day of our lives. Look, baby, I'm, I'm sorry, okay, but please, please, I need you to understand, okay? So what then do I tell my parents is the reason for us changing the wedding venue? Tell them anything. Tell them a anything. That the, the owner of the venue oh, changed his mind or something. You know how these things work. Look, okay, baby, babe, babe, listen to me. Listen. 
I need you on board. Okay? Please, I need you to understand. What if all this does not end after the wedding? What if this fear continues? So can I get a flight for that same day? Because I want to travel out of the country with my wife immediately after my wedding. The only flight is the next morning. You can spend the night in the hotel and travel the next morning. I can even get you an airport hotel. And is that the only alternative? Yeah. Considering the short time you gave me, that is the only other alternative. Should I book you on that? Yes, please. Thank you. It's three days to our wedding and you've been to my parents' house a hundred times. <laughs> Listen, if you miss me that much, just tell me and I'm going to come back. <laughs> Hold that thought. Okay. Okay, what is this? Open it. Tickets to Paris, babe. Mm -hmm. Wait, I thought you said our honeymoon was going to be here in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Whoa, babe. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, babe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hold on. Is there something else? What do you think about um relocating officially to France? I think I'll agree with him on that. Relocating to Nanking is everybody's dream. Everything is perfect over there. Yeah, I know, but I'm just not happy about the fact that he's just telling me now. Yeah, that was bad of him. But you know the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. I mean, you can't think of yourself anymore. You have to think of your kids. Can you imagine raising them in this country? Huh? With the state of the economy and our clueless new government and the high price of fuel. Can you imagine how much school fees will cost? And it's not as if you're going to get value for what you're paying for. Hmm? But in case you don't want to go, ha, we can give you the opportunity. Even this afternoon, <laughs> I will go! <laughs> oh, wait. Ah, seriously, I heard you, I heard you. Yeah, makes sense. I'm so happy you're getting married. Oh, <laughs> you know, I'm learning a new dance. Okay, I can't wait I to see it. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it has been perfect. Just the way I imagined it to be. Yes, it has. Except for the photographer who did not show up. Like, I don't understand. Like, how can someone not show up for a job without any explanation? Mm. God, thank God Lisa was able to find a replacement. Mm. Wait, where, where did you get the new photographer from? Uh, I don't know. I didn't ask her. But who cares? Um, pardon me, love.
Mm -hmm. Can you find anyone called Zero? Where did you hear that name from? Where, where did you hear that name from? Babe, can you stop? You're freaking me out. What's going on? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But where did you hear that name from? Uh, this card was, was asleep right under the door and, and it's from someone called Zero. You have a gun with you on our wedding day? Like, Zab, what is this? Trust me, baby. Just get out of here right now. What? Yeah. Trust me, okay? Like, I don't understand. We just got here and now you want us to leave and then you have a gun. What, what is going on, Zab? Baby, we'll have time to talk about this. But trust me, I will speak with the hotel manager later, okay? Just go. Zab. Zab. Let's go. Just Zab. let's go. Let's go. Don't worry. Just go. That car behind us, I think it's following us. It's been behind us for a while now. A branch of it is here. Right okay, now. Okay, 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 okay. Zach, you need help. What are you talking about? Look, if this is about that whole trauma talk, I think you need to let it go, okay? You need to see a therapist. I think all this fear and paranoia is just in your head. I don't need help, babe. You have us away from our hotel suite on our wedding day. Simply because you're scared that something is going to happen. Well, Look, I, I know how this looks. Look, I promise you I do, but you need to understand. I cannot understand when you're saying nothing in particular. Well, you do understand at least the nature of my job, right? I think this is more than your job. I think there is much more going on here. Babe, listen. Please, just listen to me. This is very serious, okay? But I promise you, the moment we leave this country and I'm in Paris safely, all this looking over my shoulder is going to happen. So Paris isn't our honeymoon location after all. You're just going there just to escape whatever this is, right? Tell me, Zach. Who is Zero? That's classified information. Well, you yeah. better unclassify it. I am your wife. You need to tell me who Zero is and why you're, you get so paranoid at the mention of his name. I'm fine. I led the team on an operation to arrest a very dangerous killer and drug dealer called Zero. And even though he's serving a life sentence right now, he swore to me that he would get back at me somehow. Now, recently, news broke that there was a prison break, and I have reason to believe that Zero is one of the inmates that escapes the prison. Phone calls and Text messages I've been receiving from strange numbers continue to make me certain that it's him, it's him, it's him. And that's why I want us out of this country, babe. Because I want you far, far away from anybody that can harm you. You're my priority, Eva. Then, babe, why didn't you tell me all of this before? You got me thinking that you were losing your mind or something. Okay, let me ask. Will all of this stop? If we relocate? Absolutely, yes. It will. Okay? <sighs> no, I... I think, I think we can head back home now. We should go back to the house. I don't think anybody will be expecting us there on our, on our wedding night. <laughs> Do you really believe your husband works for the secret police? If you do, then you're actually dumber than I thought. Who are you? Do you also think that the reason your husband hasn't had sex with you is because he's waiting for a wedding night? Did 
laser will emit. This thing will not touch you. What are you talking about? Who are you? You're asking the right questions to the wrong person. Ask your husband. Today, I have so much on my mind. Zach? Uh -huh. Are you really with the secret police? <laughs> I told you I was. And if you're expecting me to give you any more details, I, I'm sorry I can't, you know, because of the nature of the job. Yeah. You show me a badge, something, an ID card, something that tells me that you're with the secret police. Uh, baby, come on, what are, you, what are you doing? What is this about? Come on. Zach, I am dead serious. I need to see an ID card. I'm sure you people have one of those, right? Just show it to me. Baby, today is our wedding, okay? It's our wedding night. We don't need any of this. I don't know why you're acting all paranoid. Or then prove to me that I'm paranoid. Just cancel whatever doubts I have on my mind. Please. What, what, is, what is this? What is going on? Eva, what is it? What's wrong? What? What am losing my mind? How did I believe? You've never introduced me to anyone. I've not met any of your friends. All this while, all I've done is just believe whatever thing you've told me. Like a fool! Babe, come on, don't say a thing like that, okay? Then show me a picture of you training or something! Show me! <sighs> yeah, hello? Yeah, um, no, we decided to stay at a friend's place instead. Yeah, okay, well, uh, well, we'll see you tomorrow at the airport, huh? All right, thank you. Zach? If you don't make love to me right now, Zach, I'm going to scream so loud. I'm going to alert all our neighbors if you don't make love to me or touch me right no, now. There's no need for you to do any of this, please, okay? Just take it easy. Zach, back. I am going to scream so loud. I'm going to count to three. Eva. One. Eva, please, I'm begging you. Two. Eva, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, fine. There's only for you to shout, but I want to do it. I want to make love to you. It's just, I can't. At least. Not without a condom. I'm sick. You have HIV and you hid it away from me until now? Baby, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I was going to tell you, but I, I just needed a perfect time to tell you. I didn't want to lose you. Babe, I'm sorry, okay? Sorry? Like, sorry is supposed to make me feel okay? Do you know how I feel right now? 
attack and you betrayed. Like a knife just went through my heart and just shattered it into pieces. Don't you even say that when you're out there cheating on me and then you caught this ridiculous virus. I swear to you, I swear to you. I never cheated. I swear to you on everything I hold dear and on my life, I never cheated on you and I never will. So how did you get it then? Were they sharing it as a souvenir at some wedding reception? No, tell me some ridiculous lie. Tell me! I think it's better. If you do. What are you doing? What? Please don't do this when we're married. Not anymore. Wait, not, not anymore. Ow! Ow! That is for lying to me all this while. It is over between us, Zach. To hell with this forever. Too early to be having marital problems. Mind your business. I know you too. I don't recognize you. But your husband will. We grew up together. Look, he's, he's more like a brother to me. Blood brother. What is your name? Didn't you get my congratulatory gift? Wait, are you? Hello, Lisa. Is Eva there with you? Is she supposed to be with you? She's your wife. Well, um, we had a bit of an argument and um, she, she, she left. Oh my God. Uh, let me try to call her. Yeah, please do that. I've been trying to call her, but she's not taking my calls. Maybe she'll take yours. I'll call her right away and call you back. Thank you. Finally, I was thinking you were dead. 
I mean, this would be fun if you were dead already. Save your strength. Stop. Stop struggling. If there's one thing I learned in prison, it would be how to tie a very good knot. Yeah. Part of the survival hacks in prison. Of course, you wouldn't know. Oh, you wouldn't know what that means. Of course, you can't feel it. I must commend you for marrying a very beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if there's one thing I know about beautiful women, they actually have to be that they have very small brain. They really think. And your wife actually kind of. And your wife actually confirms that. I'm not scared of you. What do you want? Mm. I think you have it all figured wrong, dar darling. I am not the one you should be scared of. If there's someone you should be scared of here, it is him. All right, I think it's time we, we get this little reunion started. What do you want? The same thing you want. The same answers to the questions you are already asking. If this man here is not who he says he is, then who the hell is he? <gasps> Please. Start talking. Oh, I forgot. Please. God doesn't scare you. But I'm very sure it will scare you when I put it on. <gasps> please, please, I'm begging you, just, just stop it, okay? Stop, stop it. She, she has nothing to do with any of this. Please, I'm begging you, stop. Just let her go, okay? She has nothing to do with any of this. So I'm going to need you to tell me to continue. But if you don't, I'll have to shoot the both of you. And then I'll assume that you don't really want to know who your husband is. So I'm going to count for one, two, three. One, two. Continue. 
emission content. I don't work for, for the secret police. Yes, go ahead. Yes, yes, go ahead. You want me to shoot on the leg first to get you to talk? The, 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 reason, the reason I lied about everything was because of my past. Everything is a lie. If you had anything for us, for us, for our protection. I, I don't know the reason why I did all those things I did in the past, but I. I, I I didn't say anything because I was worried about the past contact to haunt us and, and I was right. How do you agree to marry someone you know nothing about? Have you met any of his family members? Please don't make me force it on them. No, I've not met any family member. Have you met any of his friends? Have you even seen a picture of him with, with anyone? How could you allow someone to see you like that? You're such a pretty fool. I am not a fool. You are whatever I say you are. I am not a fool. I am Please, 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 please. 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 Please, what do you mean? Don't do what? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm so, so sorry, but I'm not that guy. I'm not that person I used to be, okay? I'm a changed person. Please like stop you know, embarrassing me. What are you doing? The whole 001. Begging like a bitch. I haven't even done anything. I'm, you're, you're begging. And you're begging me. Please stop. You have a reputation to protect. Stop, please. And as for you, for the sake of this reunion, I'm just going to beg you not to be rude. As a matter of fact, I have temper issues. Just something I picked up pretty soon. So, I am begging you. What do you want with me? See? Now you are asking the right questions. Power of a good smack. Honestly, I I actually don't want you. Or maybe I man, the only reason I want you is because I need you to even the scale. Zero. I did beg you, please. Zero, please. I'm begging you, zero. Another thing we need to really find out is why the lies? And why is he why is he going this far trying to protect it? What is he running away from? Okay, I'll give you a hint. Your husband is a killer, a murderer. That's a lie. That would never harm anybody. He would never. Oh. All right. Tell her everything. Z, I didn't beg you. I don't need beg you since. She has absolutely nothing to do with any of this. And Lucy had everything to do with it. Did she? Zero. I'm begging. Look, I am losing my patience. Z. Tell her everything now, except we're going to pick her brains from the ground. I'm hungry, I'm begging you, please. If you don't start talking now, you might have to pick her brains from the floor. Z, I they beg you, zero. What, what is going on, please? I don't want they to beg. die, so please. They what is going on? Just, 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 just look at me, and everything will be fine. One, okay? Z. <laughs> Two, zero, zero, I they... Look at me, okay? You know what? You know what? Fine, fine, I will talk. Fine, I'll talk. Talk, okay? Like our final year in university. I 
I was We were cultists. I was double zero one. And they all answered to me. The Brotherhood of Blood. The most dangerous cult in school those days. We did everything that bad people do. Everyone in school feared us. Brotherhood of Blood leadership was basically us. I was the Capone, the zero, zero, 001, and Zero was the second in command, while Callistus was the hitman and executioner. Save your tears for that part. Zero. I didn't beg you. I don't even beg you since. Please, Zero. I beg. Zach. You didn't beg me. You are begging me. Zach, can you remember how much I begged you? Zach, I begged you. I went on my knees. I pleaded with you. What do you tell me? You tell me, say, I've been made man for life. You said you're a made man. So please, don't fucking beg me. Don't. Thank you, Alpha. How's it going, man? Please, I, I, I don't want any trouble. I'm just... Imagine this, babe. You say we'll be troublemaker. <laughs> no, we're men of peace. Eh? We don't want any trouble. You, you know this my guy here? Zero. Talk! Yes, talk. Yes, Are you yes, I know him. I usually see him in class. Mm-hmm, good, good. So I want you to do one simple favor. I hear you are the smartest girl in the class. That's how I'm here to talk to you. A big honor. You don't get? <laughs> I want you to help me make sure that Zero here passes one course. Hmm? I, I cannot do that. You know, it's against school rules. Don't provoke me. Don't provoke me. You want to die? Piss me off. See now, see now. Eh? Now I'm making people we're, we're bad people. We're here, we're threatening you and all of that. We're, it's nothing like that. Eh? Well, as a matter of fact, we'd have handled this ourselves, but you know, the lecturer club would have brought you know now, you know every. It, you should consider it an honor. No, think about it. Hmm? You should consider it an honor. That's why we're here to talk to you. Anyway, uh, it's not like we're even asking you for too much. Eh? You will make sure every day you take him to class. You will make sure he's there. In short, you will be with him from morning till the evening. Eh? Every day. Make sure he's sitting in class. He does everything he needs to do. Eh? Make sure he passes his exam. Two, four. You should be with him. And if you have any boyfriend this period, eh? Just tell him that he should just give you arms. For his own good, though. Like, you understand? It's not, it's not, it's not a threat. It's just, you know, for his own good. You get the hang. And if you play your game all right, think about it. We owe you one. Protection in this whole area, nothing. Anybody try nothing. 
they will see anything. And you're like, you should, you should be happy, eh? Why you the fear? This is the fear. <laughs> Zero. Shake a hand. Greet your new friend. You guys are friends now, eh? Yeah. That's how it's done. Mm. Mm. Greet our friend, eh? See? Yeah, fine girl. My brother himself. How far now? See? How far now? Zero himself. How far? They have one. There's no one to see your brake light again. What's going on? Studying, I, I can tell you too. Studying. Hey, but you don't pass the test last week now. Which one can't be studying to study again? Come back home, man. Come back to us, man. You know? Hmm? Yeah, just, just give me a little time. A little time? Yes. I <laughs> say, we'll give her a little time. Bro, we have a very important thing, okay? So make sure that you show up at the hideout later this evening. So we need to plan for it, okay? Hmm? Okay, um. I'll come after my classes. After your classes. <laughs> zero, zero. See, now one test I see me you pass, so one, one course. I don't see me you graduated first class or, you know, get PhD to become professor. Eh? Zero in there. Oh, yeah, now. Yeah, take care.
don't get it, why do you hang on all them? Zach and I grew up in an orphanage. I was mostly bullied. Zach was the only one who would stand up and, and fight for me. We grew up fighting our way through, but through being teenagers. When we got into school, we, we formed a group to protect ourselves. Zach is the reason I met you. He's also, he's also the reason why my, my grades are improved. Leah, yeah. do you know, you have the potential to be so much more. Why don't you just focus on your music? This, this is not who you are. No, that's not gonna be easy. It's not. Yeah. I figured. Leo. I'm sorry. I love you. But. I can't be with you if you decide to continue being this person. I mean, you are naturally intelligent. You have worked so hard to get your grades up. Please, I don't want you to ruin your life. serious question. You know I cannot raise a child for you. Not, not where you are what you are. What does that even mean? What do you mean? You know what I mean. You are, you are a cultist, for Christ's sake. A thief. I used to be. Maybe I, I used to be, but everything has changed since I met you. I don't know. I'm not sure, sir. I'm scared. I mean, you, you still hang around those. You have to make a choice. You have to choose between us and them. You see, help me out. Look, we started this fraternity together. I promise you, I will be out. This is our finals. Once we're done with our exams, you and I, we can go somewhere and get married afterwards. Please. Okay, I, I am begging you. I, I want you to keep the baby. I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm scared. Please keep this baby. Please, I promise you. Look, Stop, I... please. Just, just, just please leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, we don't date you now. What's going to happen? It's been weeks. We don't see you. How far now? Hmm? I'm going to very busy. You're mm. <laughs> 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 very busy. <laughs> zero, zero! Eh? That's what that babe makes you very busy. And I'm so she's having the work for a bit. Eh? Well, I'm 
This has nothing to do with this. Ah, shut up there. Things that we don't know. Ever since we hook you up with that babe, just they do anyhow. Come soft like waiting man, no understand. Don't forget to be made, man. Zach, hmm? I want to want to. <laughs> 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 My guy, it's a big joke. You got a comedy on his face, man. I don't think that's true. I don't think they play no Luna too, they laugh at them. Your guy wants out. I beg me, no good book in letter and go like that now. Help me invite her back in. Hmm? How you saying? Dali. Alright. She don't die there, like she, she don't die. You know, when we check her, like I, I was confused. I don't know what to do. Again. Zach, I went to jail. The horror of having to replay the, the scream of Lucy in my head every other single day. You took her away from me. You took my child. I want you to feel everything. That I felt. Every ounce of it. I will kill your wife. But before I kill her, I will take her right before your eyes. Please. I did I did beg you. Shoot me. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. She has nothing to do with this. Let her go. Please. I should let her go. Please. Just like you let my Lucy go. So I should let her go the same way you let my Lucy go. So sorry, please don't do this. Get up. Zero, I beg you, Z. Z. I said, Zero, I Zero, I beg you. Zero, I beg you. Don't do this now. Zero, I beg. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Zero, I beg now. I beg. Zero, Zero a day, yes. Stand up! Zero, I beg. Zero, 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 zero. Zero, I did beg you. Zero, make a need down, beg you. Zero, I beg. Zero, zero. Take it up now! Zero, zero, zero. Zero, I did zero, please now. Please. Zero. Zero, let me get back. Let me get follow you talk now. Zero, why did you do it? Zero!
are you? Um, I'm, I'm Zach's brother. Yes, he said I can be here until I'm able to find a buyer. Zach's brother? Yeah. Well, he never mentioned he had such a good-looking brother. We know Zach <laughs> and how he kept a very secret to you. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, he called me about Ava. Did something happen? Um, I don't know anything about that. Um, but they're leaving the country tomorrow morning, so I don't think you will have anything to worry about. Well, I think I should just call Zach because I can't reach her. My number is not connecting. Um, why don't you just come in? <laughs> it's very rude having to keep you outside. Just come inside now. By the time you read this, our forever would have ended. I love you, Zach, like I have never loved anyone. But I can no longer bring myself to be with you. A man is not his past. But I cannot tell just when a man's past might come back to bite him. I do not want to be caught in the crossfire of karma I know nothing about. There are some sins that, even if God forgives you for them, your conscience and the blood of the person will never forgive them. You crossed that line, Zach. I am sorry, but this is how our love story ends. Goodbye.